Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to set up our server quickly. Um, obviously, you can skip this if you already know how to set up your server, or you are going to uh, be using a local server or something to that effect. So I'm just going to go and create a new account in WHM. Uh, I think I'm just going to call this learnwepler.com, let's say. Uh, that's fine. Something here. Okay, I'm going to send this to my Gmail email address. Okay, let's put this in. Choose a package. Um, obviously, your packages will differ completely. Just put on SPF, overwrite any existing DNS records, create. Don't need to save that password. Go into my C panel. Okay, in the C panel, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create um, an FTP account. I'm also going to be using this uh, particular domain that I'm creating fakely um, for multiple other tutorials that I'm going to be doing. So in this particular case, we are doing a tutorial on a website called Fruit Juice International. So I'm just going to create a um, subdomain for that at this point. Uh, let's call this FJR, just because Fruit Juice International is quite long. Let's create that. Okay, that gives us our subdomain. Let's go back to the home. Um, I'd like an FTP account that's going to get me directly into there. So let's make our login um, learn Wipler uh, FJ. Sorry. FJR, Fruit Juice International, on the domain Learn Webflow. I want it for that domain. Password. Okay. Um, I don't want it in this directory over here. I want it in the public underscore HTML forward slash. Um, FJR directory unlimited create. Okay. Just going to go to the file manager and make sure that it's created the directory that I asked it to. Public HTML FJR, so that's in there. I'm going to leave the file manager open because we're going to go back in there. So we've created our FTP account, we've created our WHM, our cPanel account, um, and we've obviously just checked it in the file manager. We've got uh, the subdomain set up. Let's see what else we're going to need here quickly. That is all fine. Let's make a database for this in the meantime. I'll use the wizard interface. Um, let's just call this... Uh, FJR, next step, uh, create a database user. I'm going to use the exact same thing. And password. Okay, that should be fine. Create the user. Not now. I want to give that user all privileges in the database table so they can add, delete, remove, whatever they need to do. Okay, that should be my database now created. Let's see what else we're going to need. I don't need aliases. Don't need any of that. Email accounts. I'm not going to need email accounts at this point. As I said earlier, it is a totally and utterly fake um, domain. So we're not going to require any of that. I can't use SSL or TLS. I can't have uh, HTTPS on a site like this, obviously that will really check if the domain exists and in our particular case this domain does not really exist so 
that's not gonna help us. Okay, I think at this point, I wanna go back to my file manager. Just wanna make sure I'm in the correct directory here. So FJR, and all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna create two new um, files for myself. One is going to be an htaccess file, which uh, unfortunately doesn't work on all servers on ht, uh, I mean on um, on Apache web servers, it works just fine. Uh, I know the newer ngINX servers are going to have issues here, um, and Windows servers probably won't work with this, but all I'm going to be doing is turning off the directory listings, etc., just to make this a little bit more secure. Um, I would normally also, in this file, add um, things to forward to www from non-www. I would forward from http to um, https, things like that. The reason my file is not showing up is because I haven't turned on the show hidden files and anything with a dot in the front is a hidden file. So let's just go here and edit this file. Edit. And I'm just going to add some very simple stuff in here. So options, uh, yes to follow sim links um, and second options to not show indexes and that should really be all that I need for this particular file right now. Okay, let's save that, close it. I want to create a second file. This is not something that is totally normal. Um, my particular server has very very low limitations set on its PHP by default and so I'm going to create a dot user dot any file and I'm just going to set some of those limits a little bit higher so let's edit that file and what I'm going to do here is memory underscore limit uh, equals let's say 500 m and I'm going to do an upload max file size equals let's say 128 m I think is fair enough then let's do a post max size equals let's say 256 m and then we're going to do a max execution time execution time and I think let's set that to 600 and we're going to do a max input time also these are just um, PHP settings that I have found to work best on my particular server so as I say, I don't think that everyone is going to need to add in these, but if you do, if you try to upload a file and it's five megabytes and all of a sudden it fails, it might just be due to your PHP file rather than your actual application not working as anticipated. Okay, so now that we've got those two in there, I'm pretty sure that we can close out of our file manager back to our cPanel at this point. I don't think I'm going to need a sitemap XML file, a robots.txt file. Um, uh, you know, I'm not trying to limit Google from calling the site. As I say, it is not a real domain. So I really have no concerns about Google trying to do anything on this particular domain without my knowledge. The last thing that we need to do is obviously because the site is actually not real, I'm going to have to add something into my um, into my etc hosts file within the terminal. Being on a Mac, obviously that works a bit differently than being on a Windows system. I'm going to go into terminal, I'm going to open up a nano or pico text editor and I'm going to edit the forward slash etc forward slash hosts file just to put an entry in back to my particular server. Um, so when I type in learn dash weplercom uh, or FJR in this case, learnwepler.com. 
everything will work. Let's go do that now. Before I actually go into terminal, I think I'll best just show you um, that this isn't going to work currently. So learn dash, sorry, we didn't put a dash, learn wepler.com. And that says cannot find server. If I had to go to fjr.learnwepler.com, can't find server. So let's go and quickly add in our stuff that we need. Um, new utilities terminal open um, sudo space dash s to get me into super user mode. Just put in my password uh, sudo space forward uh, sorry sudo space nano etc hosts enter takes me into here. Quickly need my actual web server address here. This 154.0.167.225 is what I'm going to be using. So let's go one more line down. 154.0.167.225 tab, and that is going to be used for learnwepler.com as well as for 154.0.167.225 and that is going to be for www.learnwepler.com and third entry 154.0.167.225 and that will be for fjr.learnwepler.com dot com uh, sorry and I missed up in here okay that all looks fine let's write that out enter exit out of here exit the terminal and quit okay if I now go back here and I had to go to straight learnwapler.com you will see that the directory listing is still there even though we added that entry into our .htaccess file, uh, where we added that .htaccess file entry was within the FJR subdirectory. So it'll only actually not show indexes on that directory. On the standard www as well as the non-www, you will still see the indexes of the site. So if I'm out to put an FJR, I should get forbidden, which I don't. Okay, my best guess as to why that is not working is more than likely my subdomain directory. Yeah, that is exactly why. Sorry, I left the default subdomain directory. This should be going to public underscore HTML forward slash FJR. That. Okay, that'll go there. Change that document root updated to that public html fjr if i had to quickly look at my file manager um, i will no longer be needing that so let me just delete this out here very quickly stop any confusion um, there's my public html there's my fjr directory i added a test directory in there while i was testing things delete that Okay, and if I now go here, forbidden error, okay, 403 forbidden, and that obviously comes from this htaccess file. So I'm quite confident everything um, as far as our uh, cPanel, WHM, FTP, database, uh, .htaccess files, all those I think are working as I would anticipate. Okay, I will go on to the next video where I'm going to add PHP admin into my actual um, database. Obviously, PHP admin is already installed by default on my server. Um, I would anticipate most of you guys have PHP my admin already installed, and that's partly why I'm going to use PHP my admin. I think it's something that, without any additional installation, is already installed. Okay, see you guys in the next video.